give you the name, glory, and honor. For Lord, you made the difference here. Lord, bless us today. Come on, walk in the house. Let us feel your presence on the main altar of our hearts. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. Now come on, greater, put your hands together and give God praise. Amen. God bless you today. Bless you now. We're going straight into the word of the Lord. And this particular sermon I'm going to share today is something simplistic. And uh, again, we pray that this broadcast will be a blessing and that for you that has, are at the crossroads of life, that you can give Jesus your life and the Lord will save you just the way you are. Somebody say amen. amen. For a few minutes, I'd like to call your attention to a very familiar passage of scripture, one that you possibly read before, one that you probably have been familiar with for many, many years. And uh, I want to lift this text, and I'm not going to be too long today because um, we want the Lord to have his recourse and free will. Uh, the greater I need you to help me preach this today uh, because I want someone to hear this uh, via the Internet and come to know Jesus in the free pardon of their sin. John 3.16. John 3.16. Uh, that's the last gospel and the third chapter and verse number 16. Amen. I need some help in here. Amen. For God the so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Let's go over it again. For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him would not perish. But I need you to look at your neighbor and say would have everlasting life. For a few minutes I want to talk about it's just that simple. Would you just look at your neighbor, repeat these words after me, say, neighbor, neighbor. it's just that simple. Just that simple. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, there are simple things and simplistic things in all of our lives. There are things that are not complex. There are things that are rather very simple. My brothers and sisters, how, this is how simple it is. If you want to illuminate light in your house, if you want your house to take the illumination of light, it is just that simple that you go to a switch that as you enter the room and you turn it in an upward motion, an illumination of light goes throughout your whole room that's just that simple. My brothers and my sisters, as you prepare to leave in your automobile, in order for the automobile to move, in order for the automobile to take flight, it's simple. You put a key in an ignition. Come on, y'all help me preach here. And somehow or another, that ignition is, is connected to a computerized mechanism that causes the automobile to give off a combustion and causes a controlled fire. And you're able to put the car in gear and move from one place to another. That's just that simple. Do I have a witness in here? My brothers and sisters, for those that ingratiate what we call the church of the living God, for them to come to know Yahweh, Elohim, Jesus the Christ, is just that simple. And that is, believe and you shall receive. Do I have a witness in here? And I know somebody in here in greater this morning is glad that it was just that simple. That the Lord picked you up and he turns you around. I need you to get happy and tell your neighbor, say neighbor. It is just that simple. I don't know.
and I think I will. And call them stars. I'm talking about my God. I wish I had a witness in the air. What this God did, he reached into a chaotic condition and brought about a cosmos. Notice what he said in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Look at somebody say, neighbor, that's what my God did. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the God that rules, that is super rules. I want to do a have a witness in the air. I'm talking about the God that Big Mama used to talk about. He made, he said, you can't have it, God. I wish I'd come on help me preach here. You just got to wait. And I wonder if there's anybody in greater that can tell somebody it's something about waiting on the Lord. You got to trust him. I feel like it in here. And give him time. Because he is a God. I wish I'd come on help me preach. He's a God you can't help. Him. He may not come when you want him. But I He's always. Can I get you to tell your name? He's always. He's always on time. He said, For God, come on here. So out the world. Now there's a difference between be between loving and so loving. There's a difference between being fat and so fat. There's a difference between being skinny and so skinny. There's a difference between being pretty and so pretty. There's a difference between being ugly and so ugly. There's a difference between loving and so loving. Well, well, yeah. I want to help you jump in here. Oh, for God is so loved the world. Oh, I don't know how you feel about it, but is there anybody here that's glad for the love of God? For God so loved the world that he gave the only begotten son. I wish I had a witness in here. What the Lord did was he took from himself. The Bible says, the son of God. I wish y'all helped me greater. Became a son of man. That we might become sons of the living God. Will you touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, he did that for me. Oh yeah, you need to tell him, get happy and say, neighbor. I hate you. I have to let you know he did it for me. Oh yeah, he did it. Somebody here know he did it. Oh yeah, I wish I could get somebody to get happy in here and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Oh, he did it. He did it for me. One more thing, you know, he said, for God. So let the world he's only begotten himself. And that's what I'm telling y'all. This, that the Lord. Oh, he can't do it. One more thing for God. So love the word. I feel like preaching in here that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Will you do me a favor, Graham? Will you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it is just that simple. Or oh, tell him it's just that simple. Or oh, look at him and say, neighbor, it's not complex. But tell him, say, neighbor, it is just that simple. It said for God, so not the word that he gave. You know I didn't feel like preaching, but I think I will. Oh, uh, he only begotten the son. That the whosoever believeth in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Well, that's all, y'all. That's all I came to tell y'all. As I close this evening, it is just that simple. And all along, I gave his life for the sin of mankind. Do I have a will? It is, it is, it is just that simple. Yeah, I died. 
I feel like preaching. Uh, he died on Calvary. So have a with me. Y'all come on here for me. Just that simple. And I got a witness. And I 